The SPCA says that identification microchips inside of cats or dogs could save their lives, especially indoor ones. The small chips contain the owner's contact information and it's placed under the dog or cat's skin. Soon, the Erie County SPCA will equip all of the rescue trucks with the chip readers. Barbara Burgett of Williamsville is also an SPCA volunteer, and just recently her indoor cat Muffin escaped. Muffin was returned to Burgett just a few days later by a neighbor, but she says it's a great example on why indoor animals should get chipped. It's always good to have a safety net in case they do get out, cause, and then, or sometimes even a dog in the back air, might, you know, the gate's not shut right, they can squeeze out. So it's always good to have them chipped. Because you can find, you can find the owners, there's been stories of um, animals that have been chipped states away, and they, you know, they find the, the original owner. When a dog or cat is found, the SPCA says the animal could end up at several places, usually a vet's office, a shelter, or in the hands of an SPCA worker if the animal was hurt or in danger. And if the cat or dog ends up in certain shelters, if no owner can be found, they could be euthanized after several days. You can head on over to our website and click the Found It On 4 tab for more information about pet microchipping. And the SPCA wants to remind people with chipped cats or dogs to keep their information up to date. Reporting in Williamsville, Nick Quatrini, News 4.